Hi, I'm Ron Polk. I'm working on a project in SketchUp, and as I come across a couple of tools, a couple of things I need to do, I'm taking a, a moment to pause and just make a recording of how I'm using certain tools, hoping that it'll help some other uh, contractors, woodworkers out there uh, use this uh, tool that you can get uh, mostly free of charge if you get SketchUp Make. So uh, I'm working on this workbench model and um, I'm trying to detail it out and work some bugs out before I get in the shop and build it. And one of the things I wanted to do is represent this strap on the bottom that uh, will uh, both kind of set the height of the bench by how much it will spread, but also keep it together so it won't overspread, you know, for the uh, strength of the, of the bench. And so, um, again, I needed to design the strap and uh, make it look pretty much the way it, you know, will in real life. And uh, so, first of all, the buckle, I didn't spend the time designing that. I just downloaded that from the uh, warehouse right here, which is a, a free resource. Um, people like me build models and put them up there, and they're free for you to download. And that buckle was there. I've got some models up there as well. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Uh, it ended up not being very difficult, but it probably took me about 20 minutes to figure it out. And I've used the follow me tool a lot. Uh, I wasn't getting the results I wanted. And so I thought about it for a minute and came up with a way. So what I'll do is I'm going to make a copy by hitting the M key for move, tapping the option key and just copy one of these. And then I am going to explode it. And I will go in and I am going to, what I'm doing here is exploding these and I'm making them groups because they were, uh, as I showed in the previous video, these were components. And if I edited them, uh, then uh, it would edit the others. Now I could make it unique. That's another way to make it a separate component, edit it without it affecting the others, but I'm just gonna explode. It's already selected when I do that and make it a group. Now I can go in and edit them if I happen to change anything and it's not gonna affect the other five iterations I have of it. So first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of that strap and this is kind of where I was at. I will uh, take the buckle and just move it out of the way for the moment. And so the follow me tool, which is uh, on this toolbar and this toolbar uh, I have shown um, by going through my options and showing it probably isn't there when you first open SketchUp until you set it up how you want to use it. So the follow me tool is this tool right here. And really you can design anything and, and have it follow uh, a path. So I need to create a path first and and so what I wanted to do was to, you know, go through this slot and wrap around and come back around. Now, actually, it would be a long strap. It wouldn't actually be a loop, um, so it would overlap. And I could do that, but I'm not going to bother with that level of detail. I just want to represent that there's a strap there. And so the, the one thing that I wanted it to do, though, is because these are at an angle, the surface in here... Uh, as at an angle. And so when I first drew it, I started on the outside here on the center, drew to the other side, and then it came through a pie here. And I realized oh, I want it to look a little better. You know, not super critical because this is just representative, but I want it to look uh, somewhat accurate. So what I'm going to do is create a path. I'm going to use the tap the L key for the line tool. It's a pencil to start this. And again, I'm drawing, these are groups, so I'm not actually drawing on these sawhorses. These are protected, they're in their little group envelope. And I'm going to just take this and I, and I wanna keep it straight. So to know that I'm drawing straight, I'm gonna to go to the midpoint right there and click. And then I'm gonna hit the O key and I'm gonna orbit around. And when it comes out on this side, I'm going to hit the line key again. You can see I still have the, the line still ready to go. Um, I could, and I did it on the other ones. I put it there, but I got to thinking, uh, I'm going to go to the top because that's the way the strap would actually come through. So I want to go to there. Um, I don't actually need to click there. I would if I were 
uh, going from here because I'd be changing the direction. But actually, I will. I'm just going to click there anyway. It doesn't matter that there's another segment. And then all I need to do is orbit around, come over here, and hit my L key again. I still got my line going. I'm finding that midpoint there. Drawing in the 3D world, I've been doing it for a long time, and you learn that you have to recognize you're drawing in 3D space on a 2D screen. And so sometimes things don't look the way you think they should. You'll know, click on something, and it won't quite be where you want it. So I'm using these reference points. So again, now I'm to that midpoint on the other side, and I'm going to click there. Then I'm going to come down and find the center of this, again, I'm staying center on these, so it's convenient that there's a midpoint. I'm going to click there. I'm going to just orbit. And I'm using my scroll wheel to go in and out. Hit the line tool again, and you can see I'm still in the line mode. And I'm just looking for that midpoint. I'm just dragging it along. And see, you, you'd think I, I'd say, oh, I'd be right there somewhere. But you know, in the 3D world, it's not always what you think. So that is the midpoint. So that's actually straight. Now I'm going to back out. I'm going to hit the O key for orbit, and I am going to come to this side, line tool again. You can see I'm still drawing continuous line. Find that midpoint, click. Same thing here. Find that midpoint, click. Hit the orbit tool, and then I'm going to come to my last point here, line tool, and click. Now I have this continuous path. And I am going to double click on it. Uh, double click is good for something that's flat. So this doesn't have the third dimension yet. If it was pulled out or extruded, I'd hit it three times. But twice selects everything. I'm going to right click and I'm going to make it a group. And I'm only doing that temporarily, making it a group just to keep it kind of all together until I do my completed strap here. And so there is the what will be my path, but what I'll do now is I'm going to go into it, double click. I'm going to click on the surface and delete that. I don't want the surface. I just want the line. That is my path. Now I need a profile to draw along that path. And so what I will do is draw a small rectangle. And actually, I'll close this group. I don't want it. And I'll be exploding that group, too. I'll show you why in a minute. But I want it to follow around this path. And um, I'm going to put it on the, the outside corner on this, somewhere along this line, and it'll follow it. And there'll be a little bit of distortion when I come um, out uh, on this point here, because that's the top. It's going to kind of poke through the wood. Not how it would in real life, but um, it'll work. So um, the, the thing I want to do is draw a rectangle, but I want some reference points just to make this easier. So I'm going to hit the T key, and that just gives me reference lines. And then I want to go in the, uh, the blue direction and go up. And then, and I'm probably doing more than I need to do. Actually, I probably should have done that at a dimension. I'll come over here and draw one right along there click. And now I'm actually, that, that last one I drew is actually wrong. I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to hit the T key again, and I'm going to grab on this. I want to go up in the blue direction. And the strap is going to be 1 16th approximately inches. So that sets that at 1 16th, and I'm going to make it um, an inch and a half wide strap. So 1.5 inches. All right, so now I have a place that I can draw um, easily. So I'm going to hit the R key for rectangle, and I'm going to grab this and click there. And that creates um, just a flat, lost it here, just a flat section of inch and a half strap. And I'll go ahead and give it a color. It's easier to color it now. I'm going to make it let me get a different color. I'll pick a color and make it green. So I'll just click on it. And then that way when I extrude it, it'll all be green. I could do it after it's extruded as well. Get rid of the colors here. And it wants to orbit around where you are. So the better, you know, so there I didn't, uh, I didn't highlight the whole thing. So the, 
back to it and get done. You can do that all in one motion. I just didn't quite do that right. All right, so now what I want to do is kind of position it close to this. I'm going to, for now, just because I want to keep it together, I'm going to double click on it, right click, and I'm going to make it a group. I'm going to go ahead uh, and edit and delete my guides. And I'm going to hit the move key. I'm going to grab what I want to do is take this corner and I want it. Uh, it doesn't matter where on the line I do it. I just need it perpendicular, you know, so that it's kind of at a 90 degree angle. Now I'm going to explode um, both this and the path and I don't want them joined. So what I'm going to do is just, because they're touching now, I'm going to move this away um, about a sixteenth of an inch. Then I am going to click on this and explode. So now it's just a section. It's a, it's a bit of geometry. I'm going to click on this. Because it's a group, everything is highlighted. I'm going to right click and I'm going to explode. And if I don't do anything else, you can see that it's already selected. It's important that the entire path is selected. So if I deselected it like that, I would need to go in. The first thing to do now is select it. But if I just, because it's not a group, if I click just once, it's only going to click uh, do one line. But if I double click on that, one, two, yeah, let's get right on it here. One, two. Now you can see, oh, still didn't quite do it. Let me try it this way. One, one, two, three. There we go. Three clicks. And it selected all the connecting lines. All right. So now that's selected. And I'm going to just click on the follow me. And now all I have to do is come in here and click on that. And you can see it just follows that path. This is great for doing crown molding and base molding and all those kind of things in houses. You can run it around ceilings and whatever. But so I thought about that and went, oh, I can, I can do that. So now I'm going to triple click one, two, three. That selects all of the strap. It doesn't select the path. I'm going to right click and I'm going to make it a group. And now it's closed up and protected. It won't stick to anything else. And now I can come in here and place it. So if I grab the, the uh, middle, you can see when I click, when I'm on that, if I go right, it'll find that middle point. And then I can do the same thing and come along here until it finds the middle point of the sawhorse. And then I still need to pull it out. So I want to actually come out. I think I want to put it right on here I don't have a midpoint, so I'm sort of visually want to get on that line. All right, so there I'm on it, and I think I'm off my midpoint on that. I'm pretty close. That looks good. You can see here where because I drew that, you know, I extruded this uh, on one side of the line, and this one point on the sawhorse, I knew it was going to do this, but I could make an adjustment to it. But I think that's close enough, and so. Now um, I've got the strap uh, where I want it and I'm going to grab this buckle. I'm going to move it into place and just kind of put it about where it would be. And I'm going to grab the move key and I'm going to uh, M key for move, grab right there and just put it right up on that strap. Missed my point there. There we go. All right, and now I'm just going to grab that and then shift click on the strap and I'm going to make a group. So now I've got a, two groups, this and this, in a bigger group. So if I move things around, if I hit M for move and I move it, uh, it all moves together. I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that. So anyway, that was uh, the use of the follow me tool. If you think outside the box and how that tool works, it's very simple to use. And all you need to do is create a path and then a section to follow that path. And that section could be a piece of base molding, crown molding. You can see I, how was I going to do this strap to have exactly how I wanted it. And just thought, oh, just need to draw a little cross section, a flat section that was 1 16th by one and a half and uh, click on it and follow it around. SketchUp is a wonderful tool. I use it, I have been using it since it was first released along with a very powerful CAD program that I used to use. Uh, it has uh, been improved over the years and I find it, uh, probably because I know a lot about it, I find it to be uh, my favorite tool. It's the only design software I use anymore. I use this for 
all my furniture projects, my bench projects, my remodels, even complete houses. And, uh, you know, I, I find it. And, of course, I have the pro version. There's a, a program called Layout that's part of the pro version that allows me to create flat plans, which I need to do um, both in these benches and, in, you know, in, in all of my remodels and stuff so I can print them out. But uh, as far as making models, uh, SketchUp Make, M-A-K-E, and I'll put a link to that in the description down below, that's free. Now, the SketchUp Pro has a trial version, and that's limited. Uh, it's the full version, but it's limited in time. So if you do that one, then you, you've got to buy it. So the SketchUp Make is just yours to use. And uh, I'd suggest starting there, learning it, and then if you decide there's some features that you don't have that you need, then you can look into um, purchasing the pro version but again i wouldn't recommend that until you have it uh you know figured out if it's going to work for you well if you like these uh, videos a little bit of technology and construction and woodworking be sure to give me a thumbs up uh subscribe to the channel share the videos with others and if you want to set up my workbench plans you can click on the link right here in the video go purchase them and download them instantly thanks for taking the time to watch have a great day